Welcome to Revival is Here Again with Good Heart. God is about to speak directly to you as this message is guaranteed to impact your life. As you listen today, expect that God's Word has been sent in your direction to bring about revival, healing, restoration, and transformation. With faith in your heart and great expectation, join me to receive God's Word through His choice vessel, Good Heart Obi Equime. Hello, oh, friend, this is Revival is here again. I'm sure you're getting ready to come into oof, something really, really exciting and great. These messages were trapped from live services in our church family, Revival House of Glory International Church. And I'm sure that God is about to really push you to levels untold as we capture uh, the great grace, the anointing where we, these messages were preached. Get ready. Revival is here again. This is Goodheart Obiakum, the host of Rehab. Love on Jesus, Capito Paronis, Liga Daga Proko Soko Thank Him for bringing you into the month of June yet again. Our season of unending laughter and joy. Eko Parota Ketereba Losa Ketibrega Domba, Liga Dabara Mosa Ketia Go ahead and gauge praise and thanks him for the gift of life. Celebrate him. Give him a fresh fruit praise. A fresh fruit praise. Remember, praise is a powerful erase. Each time you praise God, he raises you up. Can you praise him? For the gift of life, you're still in the game of life. Love on Jesus. Father, we thank you. A thousand lips are not enough to thank you. You've spared us from the plans of wickedness and wicked men. We are ever so grateful. We are ever so grateful of the truth. The snare is broken. Our souls are escaped as a snare of the fowler. We are grateful this morning. Thank you and thank you and thank you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody shout a big amen. amen. Dearly beloved, I want to encourage you. We have only one country, one nation. It's option A, A, and A. Hallelujah. What we make out of it as priests, as the church, is what the nation will be. Second Chronicles 7 14. If my people, so the responsibility is in my people who are called by my name, will humble themselves, repent, turn from their wicked ways, and pray. He assured us he will hear us, then he will forgive us, then he will heal our land. As we gather in our healing and restoration service this morning. And I believe God will hear our cry and will turn this evil tide. If you believe that, shout a big amen. amen. Shout a big, big amen. amen. While standing, turn together with me to Acts 10. Acts 10, while still standing in honor of Jesus. Acts 10 and 1 John chapter number 3. Acts 10, verse number 38. And 1 John 3, verse 8. Shall we read together Acts 10, 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. Once again, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. Shout hallelujah. The same Jesus is still in the healing business. 
and he's in the business of healing all all persons but all diseases all persons all diseases first john 3 verse 8 he that committed sin is of the devil for the devil sinneth from the beginning for this purpose the son of god was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil can you read again with me he that committed sin is of the devil for the devil sinned from the beginning for this purpose the son of god was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil on assignment jesus the great physician our father and our god we lift our hearts and our voices sincerely to thank you for the gift of life for the privilege together again under this open heavens in this house we thank you for what you're doing what you're set to do and what you propose to do in us through us and for us even in the name of the lord jesus christ i beseech you again to take a coal of fire from the altar of heaven Anoint the lips and the tongues of clay of this seven son of yours that this hour come to your people with a word from the throne of grace. Help me to go beyond my study, contemplation and memory and help me to speak expressly. Thus saith the Lord with us always to give you the praise and the glory in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Somebody shout a big, big amen. Whilst you're seated and tell somebody by your left and right Jesus, the great physician, is in the house this morning. Jesus, the great physician, is in the house this morning. Dearly beloved, Jesus is the perfect will of God in action. For the 33 and a half years of the earthly ministry of Jesus, he came both to show and to display for us the very will, desire of God for his people. Jesus Christ was the epitome of the will of God in action. For 33 and a half years, his words were the words of the Father. His thoughts were the thoughts of the Father. His action and his deeds were the expression of the Father. The Bible says he is the express image of God. He is the photocopy exactly of God the Father. Bible declares in John 49, as he testified himself, Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet Hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. Hmm. And how sayest thou then, show us the Father? He that has seen me hath seen the Father. How then say again, show us the Father? Saints, Jesus did absolutely nothing outside the perfect will of God in his days on earth which were 33 and a half years he came twofold to show us what the father looked like but he also came to show us what the pattern son looks like how it is he designed for his son to live and to walk there was the first Adam, he is and was the last Adam. And he came to show mankind how God really designed the man that God created in the Garden of Eden to live, to walk, and to operate. It says in John 5, 19, Then answered Jesus and said unto them, 
Verily, verily, I say unto you, the Son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the Father do, for what things ever he doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. Kativalasa. In other words, in the operation of Jesus on the earth, he will simply look at the mirror of the Father and operate and live and walk just like the Father did. John, sorry, Matthew 4.23 begins to show us the threefold element of the ministry of Jesus on the earth. Three things he did that were a major aspect of his earthly ministry. Number one, he came to proclaim the kingdom of God. He says the kingdom of God is at hand. Not just did he proclaim the arrival of the kingdom of God, he also taught the kingdom of God. In sequence of preaching and teaching, he demonstrated the kingdom of God. The Bible says the kingdom of God is not in word, but it's in power. <laughs> so when you see the kingdom of God in motion, you see the power of God in motion. Matthew 4, 23. And Jesus went about Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner all manner of sickness <laughs> and all manner of disease among the people. In our day and age, we have doctors who specialize in particular strains of disease. But in the case of Jesus, who was not just the physician, but the great physician, he is the consultant in every sphere of health need. He's a specialist in every sphere. Hmm. And the same Jesus that healed people of all manner of disease, all manner of sickness, is still in the healing business today. Because he hasn't changed and he will never change. The Bible declares in Malachi 3.6, about the integrity of the nature and the character of God. It says, I am the Lord God, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. It says, I am. I am the Lord God, I don't change, I don't waver. You may change, I don't change. Economies may change, I don't change. People may change on you, but he said, I don't change. He is the constant K in the equation of life. You can bank on the integrity of the nature and the character of God to always be the healer. Go to Kalanda. Even when doctors give up, even when medical science give up, God will never give up on you. There was a woman in the Bible that medical science gave up on. The Bible was very descriptive that for 12 years of her life, she was licking blood. Licking blood for 12 years. You see, the real testimony for me is not that she eventually got healed. But for me, the miracle is this. For, for 12 years of your life, you were licking out life, licking out strength, licking out anointing, licking out money, yet still you are alive. Ha. Before the healer steps into your matter today, I, I want you to take a praise break. Akoto Pakatak. Thank God that you are still alive and well. With all katopekete, with all the pressure held through at you, at your marriage, at your home, at your business, at your career, at your ministry, at your mind. COVID-19 try to make you deranged in your mind. Try to bring depression, fear, anxiety, and worry. Guess what? Somehow or the other, even I can explain, ah, 12 years, you're still alive. Can somebody bless God? 
Can somebody bless God? Can somebody bless God? 12 years, still alive. Father, we give you praise. <laughs> the Bible says she went to all doctors possible, all physicians, yet the doctors received the money from her, but they said, hey, we can't fix your problem. We can't fix your problem. Is there anybody who has a doctor's report that says uh, we've extended our knowledge level we've extended our understanding of medical science in this endeavor i've got good news for you when men give up on you jesus the doctor of doctors will never give up on you shout yes i believe listen this is a healing and a restoration service. Ah, I, I want you to determine in your heart that even when the word of God is coming, your healing is coming your way. Ezekiel 2.2 2, The Lord spake to me and he spake spirit entered me the bible declares in acts 10 44 there was a point in time apostle peter was proclaiming the word of the lord while peter wiles good heart yet spake these words katopeke the holy ghost fell on them which what heard the word Saint of the living God, if you can open your ears, open your heart to embrace the spirit and the life contained in the word of God coming your way. Because the Bible says in Psalm 107 verse 20, he, not me, God, God sent his word, his word healed and delivered them from their destruction. Saints, get ready for healing, get ready for restoration get ready for deliverance from destruction if that's you shout yes 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 you are living here another man when the good hand of God came upon Saul he became another man when the anointing came upon David the Spirit of God entered him may the good hand of God come upon you come upon your womb and open your womb come upon your mind and open your mind come upon your heart and arrest that cardiac disease come upon your kidney your liver your oesophagus your intestine and arrest that thyroid gland situation may the good hand of God come upon you shout yes I believe the same healer is in the house while Peter spake the Holy Ghost fell Matthew 9 35 and Jesus I love my Jesus Woo. he went about all the cities and villages your children your wife your husband your kids it includes what about all cities mm. and villages teaching in their synagogues and uh, preaching guess what the gospel of the kingdom and guess what and healing somebody say every Ah, yeah 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 healing every sickness and every disease among the people the word every and the word all means the same thing you are part of every and you are part of all that god is interested in healing this morning shout yes i believe beloved as you study the synoptic gospels which are Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, you find stories upon stories that were captured of several accounts of Jesus healing the sick. Numerous, too numerous to mention, whether as individual encounters with people, the woman with the issue of blood, Jairus, blind Bartimaeus, or was in a crusade ground or amongst a multitude 
he was just displaying the love of the father that he never designed you and i to live sick and to walk in sickness that's why our text opens up to let you know the source of disease and infirmity how god anointed jesus christ of nazareth with what with the holy ghost and with power as a result he went about doing good and part of his good works and good deeds was thus healing some healing a few that were not so serious in church healing a bit more complicated issues uh, 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 healing all that were oppressed of the devil why God was with him Emmanuel God is with you all right people that's how far we can go on today's broadcast of revival is here again half a truth revival is really here again whoa what energy what passion what light what zest what vigor what vitality I'm sure you're pumped up but beyond being pumped up I'm sure the word of life has come to transform you, change you, and shift you, and take you to lift on to. Well, this is Revival is here again with Good Hello Biakwema, and I challenge you and encourage you to be a part of this broadcast each time the airwaves are open. I want to pray for as many people under the sound of my voice who don't know the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, heaven is a reality. Hell is a reality. Don't let anybody deceive you. Somebody once said, if you miss heaven, you will not miss hell. You will not miss heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me. Every man has a choice, and your choices and your decisions lead to your destination. Now, Jesus Christ has come to the earth, paid the price for entire mankind, the entire human race, but we, at some point, have to make the choice to receive him. Now, this hour, you can invite Jesus into your heart to be your Lord and your Savior. Can you bow your heads together with wherever you are upon the face of the earth? Let's pray sincerely to our Father in heaven. Bow your heads, let's pray. Our Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come to you just as I am. I lift my heart and my hands unto you as my sign of surrender. Forgive me all of my sins. From today, I turn over my entire life to you as my Lord and my God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare I'm blood washed and blood bought in Jesus' wondrous name. Amen. If you pray that prayer, hearty, Congratulations. I want to hear from you. Send us email, call us, I want to send materials to you and stand together with you in faith. And wherever you are located upon the face of the earth, I encourage you to find a good Bible-believing church where you'll be established and you'll thrive and flourish like nowhere else, where the Word of God will shift you and move you to where you belong in Christ. Meanwhile, let's get together in the next rehab broadcast. Remember, Revival is here again. This is Good Heart. Obi Akuma wishing you a wonderful day and a glorious week. Love you much. Good Heart. Hello, my good friend. This is Good Heart. Obi Akuma, the host and the presenter of Revival is Here Again TV broadcast. The same that is syndicated across many networks across cities and the nation of the world, including this particular network. We have been broadcasting this for many, many months and years now, being a blessing to a huge number of people across cities and nations. As the name infers, it is riveting, carrying the fire of revival in all that we present out there. Lives have been changed and testimonies have been drawn to this particular broadcast. We believe it's time for this work to go to the next level. And there is something called Kingdom Partnership. And we have what is called the Kingdom Air Force Partners, a team of people across nations who have said, Man of God, we join our hearts and our hands with you. We'll place seeds in your hand and we'll pray with you to see that this work will go further beyond what you alone can do. The law of San Diego says, one, which is a thousand to fly, but two together, which is not two thousand, but ten thousand to fly. We can together do much more for the king and the kingdom than I can do alone. Why don't you join hands and force with me? Look at the screen below. you find how you can become a Kingdom Air Force partner, how you can begin to give on a custom basis. It'll be my joy, our joy, to send you a monthly gift and also send you our newsletter as a periodic newsletter to be a blessing to you. In the meantime, I want to see you on this side. Join in hands and hearts with me as we take this work to a whole new level. Remember, revival is here again with Good heart of your coming. Blessings. Love you. Good heart.
We believe that you have been tremendously blessed by the ministry of Good Heart Obi Akweme. It is our conviction that this message has begun a mighty work in your life, and we pray that the grace for prompt obedience to the Word of God will rest upon you. We look forward to hear and celebrate your testimonies with great expectations.